Hello everybody and welcome to what might actually be the last episode of Let's Play Crush Bandicoot. Let's go into Castle Machinery, which is I think the last actual stage. Then we get a Brio fight, the Great Hall, which is not even an actual stage. And then finally the Cortex battle. And if you haven't got the green jam, there's an infinite amount of lives up there. Practically. It's not actually infinite, but it's like 20 or 30 or something like that and I think like I said we're probably ending off the series today because I am not doing all the time trials at least not uh, on on video because fuck the time trials there's a couple which I just simply cannot do um the box jams same thing I'm just not gonna 100% the game it's a fucking miracle that I can even complete this game, let alone 100% it, so... Let's not aim too high quite yet, and maybe I'll at some point revisit this game once I've played it enough in my own time, in like a year or two, and I'll 100% it that time, but not right now. Because that would actually kill me, probably. And not even, like, metaphorically speaking, I might just, like, commit suicide from how fucking difficult this game is, and... If I don't have to talk during it, it makes it a lot easier. That being said, I am aiming to still get uh, the box jam in this stage. Because I think I can. Then again, I'm not sure. As you can see, uh, the platforming here seems really annoying and tight. It's not that bad, really. You just... If you react to what's happening rather than uh, predict and know what's going to happen, you're totally fine. Uh, while there are some stages, of course, in this game, which you wouldn't be totally fine if you did that. Uh, this, however, is a bit of an annoying part. I think in a remake they made that easier, because I do remember that being a lot more difficult. Uh, that goes for this entire stage, mostly, actually. Um, that's just for Wumpa Fruit, really. I don't know why this stage suddenly seems so easy. I mean, it never was the hardest stage in the game, don't get me wrong, but it has become a shit ton easier. Don't jump on that platform, that's a bad idea. So yeah, I think we're about like halfway through the stage and I'm not having any trouble. And this, again, I think is the very last stage of the actual game. I'm not counting Stormy Ascent, which I can't play because I can't download DLC, as I've mentioned about 120 million times before. And then, of course, we've got two boss... Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, this is a slight problem, possibly. Can I make that jump? Yes, you can make that jump. You can't make that jump, though. <laughs> so what you're going to do is... I can't even get the box jam anymore, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to try and show you what I wanted to do. At least I'm going to try once. What you want to do is this and then jump on all three and jump back. It's a little bit annoying to do. And well, actually, I can get a box jam. Never mind. It's not the original game. And it's not a colored jam. So I can definitely still get the... Box jam. You see what this game does to my mind? I'm like, oh, I died, I can't get the box jam anymore. Yeah, that's a thing they changed in this uh, remake. It's the one good thing about it. Um, I'm using the D-pad. I want to clarify that real quickly. Why did I jump off there? Because I definitely was pressing just to the right. So, I don't know what the fuck you're thinking, Crash, but please don't ever do that again. You see, this is how you're supposed to do it. And then also jump on the last box where I just didn't press X. Again, I'm not like a little baby. When I mess something up uh, by not pressing X for whatever reason, uh, I admit it. You see, that's how you're supposed to do it. First time round, I'm missing one box. I swear if I actually miss one box and it's not... A single block left on the stage, I'm gonna be pissed. 
like actually more than just a bit annoyed I'm gonna be legitimately pissed and that's the last box meaning that we're probably close to the end of the stage I would imagine um, doesn't have to be the case of course how do you even how do you even uh, now I have to do that box jumping part again I don't want to do that this is actually kind of difficult well behind uh, the box oh, fucking behind it how is it possible that I fall behind the fucking box see it's not that difficult actually it's pretty easy <laughs> if you shut up and like concentrate fully and not talk during it and uh, are a master on platforming like I am clearly because I'm acing these levels all uh, first time around because I'm just that good at the game uh, yeah that's not that difficult and I've got an Aku Aku mouse so this part becomes infinitely easier because I can just abuse invincibility frames that being said this part becomes a little bit more difficult as a result of that And that's the jam, and that's the end of the stage, and that's pretty much the end of the game, I do think. 69% complete, that's... That's a good percentage. I'm almost sad that we're... Oh! 72% now. I am almost... Almost sad that we're gonna get more than that. We're gonna get about 80... 85-ish percent, I wanna say. Did I already do the other key stage, actually? I think I might have... Uh, Dr. Brio, I'm gonna go back real quickly to see if I... Fumbling in the dark is the other dark uh, key stage, I think, right? Jaws of Darkness, so let's go fumbling in the dark because I think I haven't finished that stage yet. And this is the more difficult version of... Uh, the dark stage from last episode, I believe. Maybe it was two episodes ago. It's been a while since I recorded Crash Bandicoot, so give me a little bit of a break. So far, though, this doesn't seem too difficult. So maybe this is not actually... Uh, the more difficult one. I think, actually, the first one we did uh, had a color jam in it. Uh, hence, we didn't get the jam. But we did break all the boxes, is that correct? That feels correct to me. Also, I think this one might not have any checkpoints. Possibly. Guess we're gonna find out. But maybe should be a little bit more cautious as a result of uh, knowing that we're not gonna get any- Oh, fuck! I didn't think that would fall, because the last one remained in the air for quite a while before I jumped up. So I was like, oh, they probably don't fall if that's the case. Uh, they do fall, it just takes a shit ton of time. One, two, three. Yeah, this, I think, is the more difficult version. I'm like 95% sure now. Come on. Gotta make that jump! The timing of different things in this stage up. The timing of different things in this stage <laughs> are just annoying. They're on different... Uh, maybe they're on different loops or maybe they're on uh, the same loop but just offset to each other to make it annoying. It's one or the other. I couldn't tell you which one to be sure. Uh, but it's either one or the other, and both are pretty fucking annoying. That being said, I just nailed that one. And I'm gonna also nail this one. Uh, I wouldn't call that nailing it, but I made it, and that's the most important part, isn't it? Oh, shit. Just... You can't do this if you don't know the stage. 
If you know the stage, you could theoretically do it uh, without an Aku Aku mask, I guess. Without lights. Uh, I don't know the stage is well enough for that at all. That being said, though, I think I'm doing quite well. I think I'm doing quite... I swear that it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe because that timing was just too perfect and it really seems like that would be on purpose. It wasn't. I wouldn't waste lives in a game this difficult just to think I might be a little bit funny. Which I, like, consciously know I'm probably not. <laughs> Uh, that's just four boxes so far. That's not a lot. Because there's 18 in total. I can make this. Wow. Actually made that very, very well. Gotta concentrate. Checkpoint! There's a checkpoint! This, this stage is a checkpoint. It makes me so happy. Uh, by the way, this is definitely the more difficult version of the stage, because do you see all of this shit I'm doing? Holy shit, this is not easy. Luckily, I got a checkpoint uh, pretty recently, so... It's not really a problem that I died there. And this is not a color jam stage, so it's not really a problem that I died there. Look at the pacing I'm going at, holy shit, I'm a goner if I keep this up. I did waste a little bit of time there, so I think I... I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes. Look at the speed! I mean, I feel so good jumping over these things. It might not be as difficult as it looks, because I can do it that easily. Um, but it definitely feels good to do, uh, if you know what I mean. It wasn't even like a sexual joke, it's just literally like... You feel me? That did I slide off? Because I do feel like I made that jump. And then, well, made a slide into... Look, that one I overjumped. I'll be fair. Uh, I might be a little short on lives. That being said, this is the last difficult part of the game for me. Because Brio, not too difficult. And Cortex, I can manage. So, after this, the game gets a hell of a lot easier. Because this is also an optional level, of course. Fuck. How long have I been on this level? Like... Seven minutes? I think half the episode so far, roughly, I have been on this level. So that would be about six or seven minutes, probably. Uh, which is a little too long for my... I shouldn't try to rush that. I'm not even doing a time trial here. I'm trying to rush it because... Well, that's just a bad idea, isn't it? Uh, I'm not even trying to do a time trial. It's still rushing it because I'm just kind of done with this part of the stage. I've played it like 50 times now. Well, I played the first part 50 times. Uh, the second part I played a little bit less. Obviously, but still, I played it quite a bit. And I just want to progress to the next checkpoint or the end of the stage. Still need 10 boxes though, so my bad is on the next checkpoint. <sighs> ah, overjumped. That part is actually... Out of everything that we've seen so far, which I clear without any issue, like all of this, it seemed really difficult, but it isn't, because there's no timing involved. There's just jumping. That other part over there requires some timing, as well as jumping. Those little ledges, no problem if you can jump off of them as soon as you jump onto them. There's Aku Aku there. I jumped and I saw the fact that there was probably a bottomless pit there just after I jumped. Which means you know like death is incoming and you can't do much about it because you don't know where the bottomless pit stops so you don't know where to go to uh, even if you can correct that is that being said though i think i am somewhat confident in saying that i can make that part 
in the dark now because I roughly know what's going on. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be difficult to make. Don't get me wrong. But I think I could do it if need be. And the need might be, to be honest. No the need. No need at all. Okay. For well, the last little bit, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> Halfway there as far as boxes go. Oh my god, it sends me back here all the way. Uh, if I get a game over, by the way, I want you to know I'm not going back into this stage. I might retry this stage uh, when I finish off Cortex, if there is time left in the episode. Um, that is if I can not finish Cortex this episode and then I have to do it next episode and there's time left. Which you have to fill next episode after the Cortex fight. I think you understand. Um, I'll do it. But that's pretty much the only option uh, available for me doing this again. Then again, I have gotten another checkpoint now. So, I'm well on my way. Ten boxes. Okay, so that was a bottomless pit. Um... Yeah, the light uh, really does help. I don't know why it just randomly disappeared there. But I kind of needed that light. 11 boxes. Going well. Doing well. I'm not doing so well anymore. I've got four lives. And I need to do this quickly because... There aren't a lot of masks uh, on this path. Oh, there's one right here. So I can wait for like perfect timing and then just... That's the end of the stage. Where's my... Where's my seven boxes? Where's my seven fucking boxes? You probably need light to see those at the end of the stage. <laughs> because I can't see myself actually having missed seven boxes. That seems really impossible. Come on, that's one, that's two, and that's three. Um, yeah, I actually missed seven boxes. I don't know where the fucking hell I missed those. But I missed them. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What did happen? I guess. Somehow. Gonna have to go back uh, and look into that. I guess. Well, that'll be my own time because I finished the stage, so... I uh, got off to hook there good. Let's uh, go fight Dr. Nitrous Brio. If you squish a blob, it'll squirt across the room. That's the hint. That's not a hint, that's just telling me how to win this boss fight. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, this boss fight I think has got beefed up a little bit since the original version. Um, why is it not damaging you, is my question. That should... Wait a second, that's how this boss fight works, right? He throws those things at you and you spin them back at him. I was pretty sure that's how it worked. Maybe you... gotta wait until he throws a second one? Or maybe this boss fight is just glitched as, as fuck. Seems like that might actually be it. Maybe it's a good idea to first run out of life and then try this again later. Um, I'm feeling like this might be slightly glitched. It even says it in the hint. What are you doing here, Aku, Aku, or Uka, Uka? 
the evil one, you're not free yet. You only get to like join the game in the third franchise's entry. Entry, friend. Entry. You know what I mean. You've got to wait two more games. Well, this is the end of the first game, so I guess technically. I spinned him. Wait a second. I spinned him. He even moved and I still died. I don't think that's fair. I'm just going to run away from him for a long time to see what ends up happening. Does Brio... I was going to say, he just stops moving. So does Brio throw another one at me? I don't think so. I don't see uh, how I'm supposed to do this. It's Papu Papu all fucking over again because you've got to jump on them, not spin them. Even though the hint fucking tells you to spin them. Why even tell me that? Why not just tell me jump on the fuckers? Because that's what I have to do. <laughs> and that makes the fight infinitely easier. And the purple ones, of course, you gotta avoid because they're just explosions. Okay, so I took a hit there. Don't want to take another hit. This is just his first form, by the way. He's gonna have a second form, which I think is easier to hit, so... Ah, uh, this shouldn't be a big problem. Now he throws... Oh, he drinks? He, oh, he drinks now. I thought we were going to have to kill him. And he becomes the Hulk. <laughs> oh, and we, jump we still have to jump on him. And not... Uh, we just kind of wait for him here. And then we jump on his head. It's time for Bria to Hulk out again, and this time I've got one mask to protect myself. So I think I will be fine, possibly. You do need to spin him, don't you? It just doesn't make a lot of sense, this fucking game. Okay, so you're not gonna fucking believe this, but the time he's vulnerable is the time he's actually attacking. Because that makes a lot of fucking sense, doesn't it? But I wait for him to get close enough and then jump on him while... And that's exactly the reason it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> exactly that. Because you can get damaged. And once again, we're back here for the 50th time. And try not to get hit now. Uh, I do have a mask, so that will help me out a little bit. And I gotta wait until he's at least somewhat close and then jump on him, I guess. It's a little bit luck-based, I feel, whether or not the fucking dude just hits you or you hit him. But now that we've both got 1 HP left, I will be fine, and he falls to his death. He can fly suddenly, and he can't, and then he's dead. Now we're all fucking happy, and we're gonna have a party, and we're gonna finish this game, and I'm never gonna touch it again for at least a couple of months, and then I'll actually go back to 100%ing it. Not on YouTube, just for myself, and then I'll probably post a screenshot on Twitter of me having 100% of the game, and that's everything you guys are gonna see from it, because... The lab is also still a stage, fuck. <laughs> Shit. It's true. The lab is the actual last level of the game. I thought it was the Great Hall, but that's after this, and then Cortex. So it's gonna be a bit of a longer episode. Uh, thing is, I don't have to care anything about boxes whatsoever because I'm not gonna get a yellow box gem. I'm not gonna do this without dying first time. Ah, uh, 36 boxes, maybe I will. I probably won't. Let's be honest, I definitely won't. Yeah, that's what I mean. I definitely wouldn't have been able to do that. Then again, um, I didn't die after a checkpoint so far. I've already gotten two Torna tokens before the first checkpoint, which is a little bit sad. So maybe I can still get the gem? I don't think so, to be honest. Well, let's try it anyway, just for fun. 
One, two, three. And one of these has a TNT box in it, I'm pretty sure. Yes. <laughs> I did remember that because it's a douchey thing to do. A real fucking douchey thing to do. And that's already the Torna stage, holy fuck. So that's also my first checkpoint. After this, I'm not allowed to die anymore. I don't know if I'm allowed to die before that, but I'm definitely not allowed to die after. I think I just screwed myself out of getting all the boxes. One. You know what, we're just gonna try anyway and see what ends up happening. And that's two more, and then there's probably two more there in the back as well, so I... Did I screw myself out of getting another box which is way up there? I don't even think... I don't even think you can get up there, so... Why is there a bounty box? Because this makes six, seven, eight, and a nine, ten, and there's probably two lives at the end. One, two, three, four, five. There is not two boxes at the end. So there's two boxes up there and how the hell are you supposed to get up there? Only thing I can imagine is something stupid like that, yes. But not fuck up. Uh, yeah, this is going to be either a very long episode or <laughs> uh, two episodes. But I can't make an episode just for Cortex and like the Kravitz, can I? So maybe I'll just cut most of this crap out starting now if I don't make it. I did make it, so no biggie. And that makes six and that makes seven. And that makes 12 in total. Yes, okay, I made it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. And I have to count because I don't want to fuck this up. Because it was actually pretty difficult to do all things considered. And that's 12 more boxes. So, the lab doesn't seem to be too long of a stage. Because I'm already look, 25 out of 36 boxes of the way there. Um, which seems fairly good. <laughs> And there is the chance of getting a jam gone because of frame perfect bullshit. Talking about bullshit. I just didn't. Okay, fair enough. I didn't know they were uh, electrified right after uh, getting hit. I probably could have known that if I remembered. I didn't, so I'll take the blame for that. That's fine. Okay, so the time here is actually really annoying. Need to wait for them to come down. And one, two, and three. Wasn't that bad, actually. Fuck you. You almost killed me. So close to a checkpoint. I'm not okay with that. Not even maybe. Also, a lot of people wouldn't think about it, but you can definitely just stand safe and still there. I didn't even see those electric sparks. Like, legitimately, not at all. Like, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I felt them. Well, Crash Bandicoot felt them. I didn't. That's where one, two, three. Nope. Right, and let's get the fuck out of there. I think this is the end of the stage. Five more boxes. Seems reasonable that there's like five boxes here and then... Ah, that thing respawns. Makes it a little bit more annoying to deal with this. You've got to be... Fucking kidding me. Okay, so this stage is not as easy as I... As I thought it was. Apparently. I've only got one life left, so... 
I can only die one more time. Uh, that being said, I am close to 100 Wimble Fruits. So that would give me another life. I'm sorry, what exactly was it that killed me there? Because I was not standing in the way of those sparks anymore. The professor thing wasn't electrified and I actually spinned him back. Uh, so I should have damaged him and not him me. I don't quite understand, to be honest. Last life. One, two, three. Got some extra life, that's good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rob. And then I get sent back to this fucking jackpoint again. Soon later we'll make it. Whether or not that's with like this batch of lives remains to be seen. One, one, two, three. He just does that at fucking random, I'm telling you. I finally got an Aku Aku mask uh, to help me out, which is actually gonna help me out because Platform isn't the thing that's killing me, it's enemy placements. One, two, three. It's good enough. I don't know why he just disappeared like that, but I'm fine with it. It's a bit of a waste of an Aku Aku mask, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because that was honestly rather easy to uh, normally do. But I. You've got to jump on there. Wait for it to. Oh my fucking god. You see, that was a platforming thing. Uh, but it's also bullshit, is what it is. So. Give me a fucking break. One, two, three. You what? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a cruel joke, isn't it? One, two, three. Kill him. He doesn't respawn when I'm standing here. So I can take all the time in the world. One, two, three. I can't get an extra life. I think it's like physically impossible to do so. One, two, three. That's a game over, isn't it? That's also a good point to end of this episode. So next time we'll be trying this all again. Until then, do not forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed the video, which hopefully you have. I kind of didn't, to be honest. See you next time. Bye.